Hello, my name is Anna Castoldi. I am a toxicologist working at EFSA. My work involves assessing the safety of chemicals in food. Today, I'm here to talk about endocrine active substances, often called endocrine disruptors, and their relevance for the body's system of hormones, which is called the endocrine system. But first of all, let me explain how the body's endocrine system and our hormones work. The endocrine system consists of glands, such as the female ovaries and the male testes, the pancreas, the adrenal, the thyroid and the pituitary glands, uh, that produce hormones. From prenatal to old age, hormones released into the bloodstream travel throughout the body and trigger specific responses that regulate the organs and body functions, for example, brain and sexual development, reproduction, mood, metabolism, and blood sugar levels. Sometimes only a tiny amount of hormone is needed to trigger the intended action. Imbalances and malfunctions of the endocrine system can result in well-known diseases, such as diabetes and obesity, infertility and cancer. Also, disruption of the endocrine system can cause birth defects and learning disabilities. So, what are endocrine active substances? They are chemicals, can interact directly or indirectly with the endocrine system. They can be both man-made or natural occurring. Other endocrine active substances, sometimes found in food and the environment, include some pesticides, some industrial pollutants like dioxins and PCBs, and BPA, which is used in some food packaging. How do these substances interact with our bodies? In different ways. For example, they may behave similarly to natural hormones, or block their effects, or change hormone levels in the body. These effects are not necessarily adverse. Certain drugs, such as birth control pills, are used precisely for their endocrine effects. Whether or not the effect is adverse or disruptive depends on various factors, such as the nature and the dose of the chemical, the type of effect and the condition of the body. The time when exposure takes place is also critical. During important phases of development, such as prenatal and infancy, the so-called windows of susceptibility, individuals are more sensitive to hormonal activity. In other words, the same amount of an endocrine disruptor could damage the fetus without affecting the mother. Can scientists assess the safety of endocrine active substances? Endocrine activity is one of several aspects that scientists consider in the assessment of chemical risks to consumers. The results of toxicological tests and studies are key sources of information in evaluating the potential risks to public health from these substances. Together with other European and international scientific advisory bodies, ESSA is actively involved in deepening our knowledge of endocrine active substances and assessing the human and environmental health risks in order to ensure the safety of consumers.